Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the topic probably, approximately, correct learning or pack. इद इंगे ने second module ले first topic आना. Okay. नमल कायन्य video इले VC dimensional examples नमल discuss इदो. इन्हें नमल discuss यां पोनो pack अन्न वारा ना topic आना. Okay. ये pack अन्न वारा ना द it's a framework for analyzing learning algorithm. That is, PAC is a mathematical framework for analyzing machine learning algorithms. Okay. Here you can see a training set and learning algorithm. Uh, so what we do is uh, the training set is given as input to the learning algorithm. And what a learning algorithm do is it learn the training set and generate a hypothesis from it. Hypothesis which it has the future inputs that is, it has the new inputs that it has the new input that it has the hypothesis in the gym it classify to 0 or 1 it classify based on whether it belongs to 0 or 1 now what is the efficiency of learning algorithm नमल पर अपने learning algorithm माने और एक hypothesis ने generate ये ना द based on what a learning algorithm learned from the training set, okay? So how efficient is a learning algorithm? A learning algorithm तेंदे efficiency अलग अलग learning algorithm तेंदे analyze या में डेटा ना pack use ये ना, okay? So pack is a pack learning is a framework for analyzing learning algorithms mathematically, okay? Now uh, we can go to the definition of learning, uh, definition of a pack learnability. I think one learning algorithm efficient it must be a pack learning algorithm. So what do you mean by pack learning algorithm? So uh, informally we can define a pack learning algorithm as with high probability a pack learning algorithm find a hypothesis that is approximately identical to the hidden target concept. Okay. That is, a pack learning algorithm. What a pack learning algorithm must do? A pack learning algorithm find a hypothesis. Or a hypothesis find out chain. That is, we know that a learning algorithm uh, training settle in the hypothesis ne generate chain. Okay. So it find a hypothesis. Engine a hypothesis arikinam. That is, approximately identical to the hidden target concept okay approximately identical ayirkanam endu vaayittu hidden aayittla or target concept okay that is or target concept undu aa concept aayittu identical aayittla or hypothesis ayirkanam ee learning algorithm generate cheyandathu with high probability okay so endana target concept nu parayana nokka uh, now, uh, see the training set here, uh, samples are X 150, for 150 it is labeled with 0, 170 it is labeled with 1 and 156 it is labeled with 0, okay. So, what is the real reason behind why this 150 is labeled with 0 and why this 170 is labeled with 1 and why this 156 is labeled with 0. इंगेना लेबले चाहिए ना दिने अलग लोग सोर्ट वैल्यूज इंगेना वेर बंदा दिने उरे रीजन होंडे अरे एक्चुअल रीजन होंडे ओके द ट्रू रीजन अलग लोग अद हिडन आना हिडन आइट लो उरे ट्रू रीजन होंडे इन दुगन डाना वन फिफ्टीन मराया ना उरे वैल्यू अद जीरो इन मराया � Hidden आइटल एक्चुअल रीज़न बारे ना पेर आना कॉन्सेप्ट, ओके कॉन्सेप्ट ने वी कैन मैथमेटिकली रिप्रेजेंट इस इंस्टेंस स्पेस ने जीरो और वन ने लोट मैप पेर नो, ओके ये इंस्टेंस अल डेटा सेट लोला ओरो एलिमेंट ने जीरो आयलेंगे वन ने लोट मैप पेर नो, ओके सो अंगने मैप पे चाहिए ना तो ल इवरे नेते इंदा ना बरना पैक लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम में इंदा बरना ना द इट फाइंड ए हाइपोथेसिस दैट इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली आइडेंटिकल टू द हिडन टारगेट कंसेप्ट अदर इधर पैक लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम ओरे हाइपोथेसिस कंडूबे देखना फाइंड आउट चाहिए ना व्हिच इज हाई हाईली अप्रॉक्सिमेट टू द 
target concept. Okay, that is uh, e learning algorithm generate e hypothesis it must be identical identical to the concept. So, identical the conditions and conditions with high probability and with small error. Okay. And the learning algorithm generating a e hypothesis. Hypothesis in the arikana with high probability and with small error. That is the error in the barana. hypothesis in the error with e conceptual error in the barana, small arikana. And uh, learning algorithm should generate the hypothesis with a high probability. Okay. And with small error, it must be identical, identical to the, uh, the actual concept. This is the target concept a learning algorithm have to extract. Okay. In the uh, pack, you see the question notations in the camera. First one instance space x. It is the set of all instances x. Okay. And this instance space may be finite or infinite. Next one is the concept class. It is the family of functions, family of all concepts. C. Uh, where c can be defined as c as x2 uh, x in a angle 0 and angle 1 at map in okay next one is hypothesis class h means it's a family of all functions all hypothesis small h x in a 0 and angle 1 at map in next one is probability distribution f capital f so probability distribution f and then the channel number the whole instance space on the look e x in the world a whole instance space in the training set in a generate in the instance space excel in the training set in a generate and use in the probability distribution on a f on the bar another okay that is training samples are generated randomly from x according to our probability distribution f okay now next one is the learning algorithm that is the learning algorithm we use to uh, learn uh, the given training set so we uh, denoted as the letter a okay uh, once again we can go to the definition of pack uh, learning in the mockup so definition of pack learnable uh, there is a concept class here concept class is defined as whether it is pack learnable so a concept class c is pack learnable if there is an algorithm A, that is, if there is a machine learning algorithm A, which for samples drawn with any probability distribution F and any concept C, will with high probability produce a hypothesis H element of C whose error is small. Okay. That is, a concept class of pack learnable na parayan na nangil. Engine ay rekinam. There, if there is an algorithm, or a learning algorithm A onda rekinam, which for samples drawn with any probability distribution, that is training set na generate na the use using the probability distribution F. Adhe bolle concept because e concept na parayan na the real reason behind the classification of the training set. So concept C element of capital C. So, what if there is an algorithm will with high probability, high probability like a hypothesis in a generator with high probability produce a hypothesis H element of C whose error is small. That is a hypothesis generated with high probability and the error in one is small. Okay. Now let's see the true error of hypothesis H. That is, we have discussed the uh, learning algorithm generating the hypothesis in the concept, target concept to it, uh, similar with small error. Now let's define what is the error of hypothesis space H. Okay, see, uh, this is the instance space capital X. Suppose uh, there are some uh, negative samples. Okay, there are some negative samples and some positive samples. 
Uh, now, uh, suppose this is the target concept. It's denoted with the letter uh, small c. Okay. And suppose this is the hypothesis small h. Okay. That is the concept c or another which represents the target concept. Okay. Uh, this target concept is to be find out by the learning algorithm. Okay. And but the learning algorithm generate uh, the hypothesis h. Okay. Now what is the error? Here you can see that the target concept and hypothesis is not same, is not similar. There are some uh, dissimilarity uh, between this. So you can see the shaded portions. Okay. Here and here um, target concept and hypothesis uh, disagree. Okay. So here are the portions and here are the portions uh, when C and H disagree. E render portion la C um concept um hypothesis um disagree chain. Okay. So how we can define the error? The true error. The true error of H with respect to target concept C and distribution F. So error is denoted by error of hypothesis H with respect to the probability distribution F. So you already discussed that uh, the training samples are generated randomly uh, from X according to this probability distribution F. So error of hypothesis with respect to F is equal to probability X element of F probability of what probability of misclassifying that is probability h of x misclassify c of x okay if it, these two labels are not equal ah no equal misclassify cheyanla probability aanu ee error ennu parna true error ennu parandu okay now let's see two more notations uh, length or dimension of instance and size of a concept. So what is length or dimension of an instance? It is the size of an instance in the instance space. That is if we consider uh, n dimensional data, n dimensional data, data for each sample instance, then the length, length of instance is n. Okay. Now, next notation is size of a concept. Size of a concept is the number of parameters used to represent a concept. Suppose if we consider a concept uh, like axis aligned, aligned rectangle, uh, which uh, this axis aligned rectangle, we know that it is represented by four parameters A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B and c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d okay so uh, here four parameters are used a b c and d so the size of concept here the concept is axis aligned rectangle so size of the concept is four okay now uh, let's move on to the formal definition of the pack a concept class c is said to be pack learnable by algorithm l if for all C element of concept class capital C distribution F over X epsilon such that 0 less than epsilon less than uh, 1 by 2 and delta such that 0 less than delta less than 1 by 2 the learner L will output a hypothesis H with probability at least 1 minus delta and with error of h with respect to f less than or equal to epsilon. This is the formal definition of pack. Okay. Here uh, all these concepts that is concept class C uh, and algorithm L distribution f over x. All these things we have already defined. Now 
uh, here a new two parameters are introduced that is uh, one is epsilon and the other is delta okay so epsilon is defined as uh, zero less than epsilon less than one by two okay here also delta also defined like zero less than delta less than one by two that is here epsilon value uh, ranges from zero to uh, 0 0.5 and delta value also ranges from 0 to 0.5 okay and with these conditions what is the definition the learner l will output a hypothesis the learner learning algorithm l should find out a hypothesis h with probability at least 1 minus delta that is in the previous definition we have seen that with high probability means uh, the probability p at least at least means it must be greater than 1 minus delta so delta is used to define the probability okay so high probability means uh, with probability at least 1 minus delta and uh, with error of h less than or equal to epsilon that is epsilon parameter this parameter is used to define error i in the previous definition we have seen that error must be small that is error must not exceed epsilon error must be less than or equal to epsilon okay ini namaku or example nokka here uh, for example we are considering an instant space x as a set of all points x, y in a plane. Okay. So, if we two-dimensional data and consider for uh, instant space x. That is, uh, two features of each samples are considered here. So, the length of instance is 2. Okay. Now, uh, concept class C. Set of all axis aligned rectangles of the form a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b and c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d. Uh, here our instant space is a two dimensional data plotted in a Euclidean plane. Okay. So uh, here we consider uh, all axis aligned rectangles as a concept. Okay. So here uh, axis aligned rectangle is represented in this form. Uh, here four parameters are there a b c and d so our uh, so the size of a concept is equal to 4 okay now uh, hypothesis space h set of all hypothesis to be equal to the set of c of concept okay that is hypothesis space h should be equal to the set set of concepts okay these details can be plotted in a Euclidean plane. Here, xy uh, plane is considered here. And axis aligned rectangle is drawn. Uh, here in this diagram, we are assuming both concept and hypothesis is same. So, we can consider this problem as a back learnable. Okay. Here are the parameters A, B, C and D. Okay. So that's all about probably approximately correct learning. Okay. Thank you. If you understood this topic, please like and subscribe my channel.